<laughs> All right, so I made it to Kitchen Creek Falls, but it is dry today. No water. I'm pretty sure this is the right spot. Sometimes it just gets really hard to tell, but it was a little annoying getting here. I had to go down some slightly steep elevation, but I think it starts flowing from over there. I did kind of want to go over there for better positioning, but you know, this stuff can be really dangerous to scale. Honestly, I get really nervous because one misstep and you can really hurt yourself. And I would get a little worried that she would try to follow me. She even tried to follow me from there, but I, uh, she was pretty good about listening to me, not to follow. But from here, you can see the highway and stuff. I think it was like 2.5 miles one way. Silly girl. How you doing? <laughs> Tiny tongue. <laughs> Damn, what's she looking at? I just got back from the grocery store after hiking because I needed to buy some glass storage containers for the bulk of raw food that I bought for Riley. And since they come in five pounds, I need to section them and put them in the fridge and then store away the rest. So I need glass containers. But anyways, I think I kind of went overboard today a little bit. I spent like $100 at the grocery store, but I like to think all of them were for a good cause. So I'm just going to go through them really quick. I bought some butter because I bought some macaroni and cheese as one of my lazy meals. I bought some beef, ground beef, love ground beef. Let's put these away. All right. Next, I bought more of these because honestly, I eat them as like a snack. So I like having them around. They were three for six dollars. Two for three dollars, I mean. So I got six of them. Next we just have my Pyrex containers that I will be putting her raw food in. And I bought two of them just in case to make things easier. It would really suck if I was limited just by one. Next, cucumber. Hi, Milo. <coughs> and then I have some roasted almonds to go with my oatmeal because I'm running low on my walnuts. Then back to potatoes. Got my potatoes. And then while I was moving, I was awful and I threw out my razor. So I'm the type of person that uses a dull razor blade for over six months. And honestly, I never cut myself. I don't even use shaving cream. So this kind of pained me to buy because I don't need three handles. I don't even throw them out half the time. So this was 10 bucks, but whatever. I needed needed some handles and I've, I'm becoming a little hairy, which is fine by me, but sometimes it gets a little itchy. Green peppers. Next I have some granola for my oatmeal. My other one is running low. Next, 
I have Pringles. Haven't had Pringles in a while. My favorites are definitely sour cream and onion and original. Original taste just fine. So this, this is a drink that I used to get once in a while with my ex in New Jersey. And when I saw it on the shelf, I was just feeling nostalgic and I was like, yeah, let me just buy some to have. Um, it's basically, this one is white raspberry, but it's basically gonna taste like raspberry soda. Okay, so <laughs> I feel a little naughty about this, but it was on sale. So I'm not going to eat two this week, just one or maybe hopefully less, but I bought two of these. It's gonna be so good. Next, I am back to Amazing Mango because last time I bought Strawberry Banana and it did not taste as good as I would have liked. So this one, I never get sick of, so I might as well keep buying it. Next, I bought some oranges. Uh, now that I'm not living in North Park anymore, it sucks because they had that market every Thursday that I like to go to get some fruit. Fresh fruit makes such a big difference. Like I was, I learned something new after I went there a few times because I bought some pluots, I bought some, oh, I bought the white nectarines there and they were amazing. So delicious that I was so motivated to eat them and I think that's really important because every time I buy fruit from the grocery store, I end up throwing them out because I just don't eat them. But oranges, um, I feel like oranges don't usually suck. I think stuff like apples tend to be really hit or miss for me. So fruit is good. Next, 2% milk for my mac and cheese and for my lucky charms. So I've never been very diverse with what cereals I try, but Lucky Charms was always one of my favorites. And I know it's not like the healthiest thing. So I honestly, Lucky Charms to me is like a snack, an unhealthy snack. And that is how I will eat it this week, but it will not be a weekly buy. Okay, down to the last two. Macaroni and cheese which I rarely ever have. I don't buy it much at all. It's not, it's not good for you, but kind of just felt like having it. And then this is just Nature's Valley Sweet and Salty Granola Bars. Um, they have been having these at work and I've been eating them and liking them a decent amount. So just trying to switch out the granola bars that I buy because they do tend to be healthier snacks and I tend to get sick of them very quickly, so just needed to try something new. I just got done watching Breathe with Claire Foy and Andrew Garfield, and it was the directorial debut of Andy Serkis. And I was hoping I would like it more, but I think it felt kind of like the theory of everything for me. Um, that one had, you know, phenomenal acting and all that, but I guess I couldn't quite get into the story of what was going on with them, so um, I definitely lost my focus a few times, and I feel like towards like the second half of the movie, I was watching it, but not with a lot of care or attachment. So overall, today's hike was actually really good. Lately, I've been feeling a little bit more anxious when it comes to hiking because of coming across people and encounters that might really dampen my mood for the whole thing. But today, I only came across one hiker who was just the usual person who you pass by and didn't really take note of Riley. Um, so that was really good and I'm really, really glad for that. On Monday for Christmas, I actually plan on hiking again because I'm really hoping that since it's Christmas, people will not be hiking or out and it would be amazing if 
I don't see anybody or even just very few people again. So hopefully that will work out to the way I want it to be. So with this new food, she has been acting less enthusiastic compared to the old food in a sense, but I'm not sure if I can say it's because it's new, but this food is a little different where it has some bones in there because I hear her chewing it up and I checked online to see what the percentage distribution is like and I think it has like meat organs and bones in it. So. She seems like a little hesitant in the beginning, but right now, I guess she seems pretty cool with it. So maybe she just needed to get used to it, but that would be really bad if she didn't like the food. Um, that was actually something I didn't consider because I just figured raw food, she would love it. But when she first saw it, she was like really eating it delicately which made me worried that she wouldn't warm up to it. But I guess even right now, like, she seems like she's eating it enthusiastically. So that's good. I just got done watching The Disaster Artist and am going to take Rye Life for a long walk and then I'm going to hermit it up. She had those accidents a couple days ago and I have my shampoo now. And, uh... Look at all that wet fur. I felt so bad because the water was cold and there's no really, there's no good way for me to heat it up for her. So right after washing, I just made sure to towel dry her as well as possible and she didn't really struggle too much. So she's doing much better with the showers and the baths now, right puppers? <laughs> She actually, I always feel like when I take off the collars and stuff that she looks so nice because when you have like the fluffy neck, it just seems like it makes huskies look nicer. Okay, so Disaster Artist, funny movie for sure, but I did have a feeling that after a while the Tommy Wiseau character would be a little annoying to me. Um, I'm not really the type of person that likes weird person humor or like a character acting stupid for too long. So after a while, I guess his character did start to bother me a little bit. So I wouldn't say that I really like this movie. I guess I did enjoy watching it because it does have funny moments, but overall, I'm not necessarily sure I would add it to my best of 2017 list, although if you compare it to the other 2017 movies I've seen, it might make the list because I don't really know if I can fit 10 on there, but I will have to give it some thought because there's still a couple more days left. However, last time <laughs> I don't think I will be going to the movies again because I feel like I've just seen everything I wanted to willing to spend money on at least. So I will compile my list sometime soon.